What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Treehouse Brewing Company YouTube channel where myself and the team have made it to New Zealand. We're about to try some beers for the first time. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, first things first, some housekeeping. We made it to New Zealand. If you guys are fans of the channel, you know that we're gonna be producing a ton of content. So make sure that you get subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss all of the goodness that we have to come. This is our very first tasting. It will not be our last. It happened very hastily following a great meal here in Queenstown. Michael and I ducked into the super liquors in downtown Queenstown. We found what we found and we're gonna take you behind the scenes to show you what happened. Let's do a lager tasting, right? So let's hold, let, let's, what do you think, Michael? We'll pick four, four New Zealand style lagers or pilsners. And when we get back to the house, we'll try the four side by side. I'm gonna grab Stein Lager, which is classic New Zealand, made with New Zealand Green Bullet. This is an iconic New Zealand lager, I think, based on what I know as a silly American. There's Emerson's New Zealand Pilsner, which I am unfamiliar with. Spates. Do you know anything about Spades? I don't know anything about Spades. Max, Nelson Sauvin, Beer Batch Brewed and Canned by Lion. Tamaki, Auckland, New Zealand. Wow, so this is a Lion product. All right, super liquor. We're gonna mix it up line so that there's absolutely no bias. Familiar with a couple of these beers, primarily the Stein Lager. These other three that we'll talk about in a minute I have never tried before. So right now my lovely wife is gonna pour these for me. I'm gonna turn around and admire the landscape and then we're gonna get right into it. All right. So clearly one of these guys is not like the others. We've got one that's very, very different. And I think I know which one this is based on the label. Still, we're gonna have fun here even without the black glasses. One thing that I will mention is that one of these guys I learned is marketed as an ale and it's actually a lager. The other thing that I'll mention is that I, I don't know anything about these beers. I am an American. These beers are unfamiliar to me back home. And so if I speak wrongly about them, just please let me know below in the comments. I'm here to learn, uh, evolve and expand my palate. So without further ado, sample number one. Nice. There's a little bit of like metallic character on the nose. It's a little bit, I describe it as watery. You know, there's not a richness to this particular beer. See how it hits the palate. Wow, I mean, totally fine, solid, crisp, medium sweetness, medium dryness, very little hop character. That weird little metallic note that I was getting on the nose doesn't come through in the flavor profile and I quite like it. Easy drinking. Sample number two. Soft on the nose. Tiny bit of butter going on in this one. A little bit of that diacetyl note. A little bit floral hop character. Not bad, it's not super fresh. Got a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of um, what I perceive as staleness going on in the palate. Not particularly bright, but honestly, easy drinking. Sample number three. Oh, this guy's got, this guy's got a little bit of staleness going on too. A little bit of oxidized hop note. A little bit of sulfur going on also on the nose. Not particularly a fan of this guy at first blush. Let's see how she tastes. You know, it seems like at some point in its life cycle it had some brightness to it, and it was a bright, delicious, fresh hop beer. I, there's definitely more hop characteristic going on in this guy. There's some floral notes, there's some kind of piney, citrusy bitterness going on, but it's, it's a little bit oxidized at this point. I'm not sure how this beer was treated or how it arrived to us. I wish I could try it fresh on tap to get a better perspective of what's going on here. Sample number four is clearly very different than samples one, two, and three. Looks really nice. Copper, copper, golden, golden color going on. Deep orange. Wow, really nice on the nose. 
sweet, malty, tiny bit of noble hop character going on. Yeah, that's nice. Smooth, kind of like a toasty, bready malt character. A little bit of caramel-like sweetness. That's not half bad. All right, so ranking them one through four, guys, I'm gonna pick a favorite. Again, I don't know these beers, I don't know their condition nor their freshness, and I did pick them up in a hurry without any consideration of their condition. So we're just getting into the trip here, having our first sampling, enjoying the view, and there's gonna be much more where this came from. Thinking about how I would rank these in this particular blind tasting, I'm certain that this guy presented as my least favorite, I would rank it as my number four. This guy I know is the, I think it looks like Spates, but someone in the store who convinced us to try it said the word Spitz. Help me out in the comments there in terms of how you're supposed to say that, but I would say Spates, maybe you say Spitz. I would rank this guy as my number three, and as my number two and my number one, we're gonna dive back in real quick to these two guys to see what we think. Yeah, so these guys have had a minute to hang out and marinate in these, these wine glasses. This guy is showing a little bit of skunkiness. And this guy is remaining really, really clean and bright. I would suspect this guy was in a bottle, this guy was in a can. I'm not 100% sure. But given that I don't particularly care for the skunky aspect of any beer, I'd have to put this guy at my number two, and then I would pick this beer as my number one favorite. Interesting. This guy, I was curious to try this because it sells itself as a hop rocker. And it says that it has Taiheki and Nelson Sauvin hops, well-rounded and complex. Any hop character that's there is super, super mild. This guy has a much bigger hop character. and it's not as pleasant. This is how I tasted them in this moment, in this condition, in this wonderful space here in New Zealand. That's all for today, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure that you get subscribed to stay tuned to these upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.